Balancing academics and athletics is a process in any division, but D3 makes it easy because they make academics a priority. When you come into college, you rely on upperclassmen to help you figure out time management and balancing the two, but as you get older and you gain experience, you figure out what works. I do my best to balance academics and athletics uh, by making a lot of lists. I have a list for almost everything. And I just try to um, keep in communication with my coach and with my professors and communicate early and often. My academics always come first. My studies always come first. And that's what our coaches in athletics, athletic department and professors instill in us, which is super important. Like my dad instills it in me too. Like you came to college to study. Um, and then next comes my athletics which is more of like a personal thing for me. Like I can personally put in the work on and off the field. So balancing the two can be tricky because there are times where I'm like, oh, I just want to play soccer all the time. I want to work out all the time. But I think it requires a lot of perspective and that's really how I balance it. Balancing athletics and academics um, is pretty easy for me since I've grown up playing sports my whole life, but it comes down to time management and definitely making sure you're staying on top of your work and checking in with your professors um, if you have any concerns about any assignments or anything. Um, definitely time management and communication. I manage my academics and my athletics in my school by making sure that I have good time management as well as communicating with my advisors and my professors at the same time. ENC does a great job of helping you balance your course load with your athletic schedule. Uh, they do a really great job of making sure that your classes and your practices don't conflict and making sure that you're keeping up with everything, you know, whether they're checking in with some grade checks or helping you down in the CAS, like they're going to be there for you. But also just, you know, learn how to time manage and, you know, make sure you get all your stuff done on your own is very valuable too. I balance academics and athletics just by um, getting my homework and work done and making sure I have good grades when I turn them in, and as far as the athletic part, I go to practice, try my best, um, and off season I go to the gym, and I just try to make sure I can be as healthy as I can when I eat my like when I eat. Balancing athletics and academics is really easy for me. Um, the coaches and the professors are willing to work with you with whatever you need if you need extra help or. Um, if there is a conflict or something, they're all super helpful. Um, and then just staying on top of all your work is super important. For me, it's kind of easier to balance school and sports because it ha helps me set up like a schedule for my time. So I have, so I know I have practice at this certain time Then I know I have to get this schoolwork done by then. Um, yeah, it just helps me stay more organized and on top of my work. I balance athletics and academics by a lot of time management. Um, it's definitely not easy, uh, you know, having to go through practice and games and in classes as, as well as homework and exams. But, you know, it's being able to be able to put the time aside and, you know, know when to do your homework and do your studying uh, so it's not interfering and so nothing's getting intertwined. I'm able to balance academics with as athletics because I have a whiteboard calendar that I have in my dorm room that I make a schedule every day of when I have practice and when I have class and then in between class and before practice I usually do my homework or vice versa or I'll take uh, one of the days on the weekend usually Sundays and do my homework and make sure I can study or go to the library as much as possible to get study hours in. Being a collegiate athlete is definitely tough. Um, you got a lot going on. You got film, you got weights, you got practice, you got games in season. Um, there's a lot to it. And with class on top of that, you got study hall hours usually um, for athletics. So for me, probably the biggest piece of advice I ever received was like time management, um, getting a calendar and sticking to it, putting every little thing in that calendar. And that way, you know, like when everything is and you don't miss anything. You don't like skip something that you're supposed to do or miss out on a homework assignment um, or study for a test. And that way you can kind of stay ahead of the game. And that way you're not always like catching up, but you kind of, you're on pace and you can look into the future and see what's coming. So if you have a really busy week athletically, uh, maybe the week prior, you can focus on getting your studies done and getting your homework done and preparing for that week. Cause you know, it's going to be a busy week athletically. So probably a calendar and just Staying really uh, strict on time management skills is the best piece of advice that I can give.